name is George Bosmanokai, originally from Accra, Ghana. Uh, I live in Woolwich. Uh, I'm married to a beautiful woman called Eunice. Uh, amongst us, we have uh, three children and a grandchild. Uh, the first one is uh, 25 year old, uh, Gabriel. And uh, the second one is 21 year old, who is Andrew. And then the third one is uh, Yafnel, Jafnel, who is 18, about to go to university. And we have a lovely, lovely grandson, Jaden, who is eight. Uh, I work in Newham, uh, Newham Council as a families practitioner, working with children and young people services, uh, supporting families in terms of interventions, targeted and universal services for them to access. You know what, God is amazing. I don't know how I uh, would have survived or my marriage or my children have um, survived without uh, him, you know, the goodness and faithfulness of God. A few years back, I became blind in this eye, but then there was no growth on it. Uh, I went to the hospital, they initially thought it was cataract, but then when they did the operation, they realized that actually it was uh, a retinal detachment and they couldn't attach it. So uh, I progressed with it, and then suddenly a growth started coming on it. And then I think about three, four years later, with my left eye, I suffered hemorrhage of the eye. I just went to work one day and I realized that my vision was going. And then suddenly, from nowhere, I couldn't see. Everyone was surprised because uh, I was at work and then suddenly I had gone blind, but you know, it was kind of thing. So I had to struggle around that time. Andrew, who is 21 now, he was about three and my wife was working part-time, I had to juggle, not seeing anything. But God increased my senses. So um, I went to the hospital and you know, when you have all this, I saw the uh, doctor in charge around that time and said, you are blind, we need to get children's services involved. All those negative, negative stuff. So she asked me to return the next day. I went with my daughter. My daughter had to skip school to take me to the hospital while my wife, Eunice, was looking after Andrew at home. The surgeon sympathized with me, so he had to bring me up on the uh, waiting list. And you know what, I had to sign certain things because it's 50-50, there's a possibility that you didn't see anymore, do you have any plans, etc., etc. But I believed in God, one way or the other, I had peace. The peace of God was with me. So um, I had a surgery, major surgery, uh, it was, they said, I suffered uh, eye hemorrhage, so I bled into the lens. So the surgery took about two hours, and they had to put in laser and etc. etc. Initially, I was frightened, but at that particular moment, after the surgery, God gave me joy. And one day I woke up, I realized that my vision was coming back layer after layer, layer after layer. And yeah, that was it. I think five, six years ago, because when they were doing the surgery, they realized that I had cataract, but then it wasn't as big as they supposed to take it out. Uh, so five years ago, I had another surgery. Initially, I was panicking. I thought, oh, my days, not again, that eye. But I'm so grateful that, you know, with the one eye, I could see more than, and this is the faithfulness and the goodness of God.